People who live in the normally quiet Salina neighborhood of Darien Drive still shaken by what happened last night. News Channel 9's Jeremy Skiba spoke with a father who watched everything unfold right in front of his own home. When the shots rang out Sunday night, David Stott gathered his family, including his young daughter, and led them to the basement for safety. Then came the sirens of first responders. All of a sudden, all of the police in the area, just all of them, showed up and uh, responded to, to take care of the situation. And on his front lawn, wounded officer Michael Jensen and Lieutenant Michael Husak in desperate attempts to save their lives. It's difficult to see when you see them working on um, an officer and you just you start praying. From there, you just you see the faces of people that they're people. They're not they're, they're police officers. That's what they do. But they're people. For Stott, not only was it heartbreaking, it was life changing. To find out shortly after he was taken away that it was um, one of the officers, it just hits you. Uh, here's a person that had plans today, you know, and has a family. And in this suburban neighborhood filled with families, it was shocking to learn the shootout happened at this house. It's a family that had the big candy bars or at Christmas, you know, when we'd go there and we'd have the Santa thing with the fire department, they'd invite you in for donuts and cider. A night that forever changed this central New York neighborhood. No one wants to have this happen. In Salina, Jeremy Skiba, News Channel 9.